All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another terrible car makeover here in Forza Horizon 5. I want to address that my audio may be a little screwy. Um, I'm going to do my best to take care of it in editing, but I have a new audio set up. I'm talking to you through a headset, which is like three years old. It's a set of Astro A40s. I'm going to try and correct the audio as much as I can in editing, but uh, I will have a new nice microphone, an XLR mic, coming in sometime next week, so the audio should be better after next week however i think this week it's probably not going to sound super great so forgive me uh but today in this terrible car makeover we're taking this wish.com formula drift corvette and uh turning it into a race car i don't think i've ever done a formula drift car into a race car i think i've always done the opposite not formula into a formula drift car but just a regular drift car so we're going to see if we can turn this guy into just a regular race car. We may not be competitive for online, and we're probably not going to take it online. And we may do dirt racing instead, depending on what the uh, performance index points are. So let's jump into this and see what we can do. So you can put race springs on it, which does change your camber and stuff, which is exactly what I was hoping for. This is going to hopefully make things a little better. All right, she is all-wheel drive with race suspension and also, uh, what are these called? Rally tires. I do not think uh, it would be competitive in S2 with racing tires on, but if we put any tires other than drift tires on, it makes it kind of, uh, it makes it too high for S1. So if we put these on, we upgrade them all the way, and then we can upgrade the power all the way, which is just an intercooler. That puts us right at S1 900. It's all-wheel drive. Um, that It should be not too bad, but what we're going to do is put a new paint job on it. And here we are with our new paint job. It is matte black with just a little hint of blue in it. And if you switch the mirrors back to basically stock colors, it puts the American flags back on it, which I think is dope. And then our window, I don't know what that's called, the window sticker at the top, obviously. I don't know if we can change that or if that went back to normal when we switched the the uh, mirrors back to normal. Either way, I think it's alright looking. It doesn't look too bad. So let's go tune this thing and see if it's any good as a race car. All right, we have a tune on this bad boy. It's basically the same tune I ran on the Brabham, except for the arrow is all the way up because you can only put like 80 pounds of downforce on the rear. I think it's like 75 and 53 total, 53 for the front, 75 for the back. But we're gonna go take this guy on a lap. We are running super low tire pressure. I think the front is 20 and the back is 21 and a half. So hopefully to make up from the lack of downforce we get from the arrow, the tires will grab a little harder. But let's do a rival's wrap. Wrap? But let's do a rival's lap around the Horizon Circuit here in Mexico. Alright, here we go. Let's jump to our flying lap to see how this guy is doing. Alright, here we come up to our flying lap. This thing is not doing very well right off the bat. I can tell you right now, it's got a lot of horsepower and not a lot of grip. Uh, it is definitely got these, these drift, not drift, these dirt tires do really good for grabbing around these corners. Uh, just snap like just barely snagging the inside the inside tires like to grab hard But this car is still very very slidey and it's light it Does not like to grab going around corners very well I think this thing, oh this thing with better arrow as well as like Racing tires might not be too bad, but then it would be s2 class. So maybe we'll try that out Obviously, I mean we're gonna try better tires not better arrow because we can't do anything with arrow on this car We can't upgrade it at all sadly all right, after doing four or five laps, we managed to get a 101 with a five. So 101 5.3, I think is what it was. So let's put some racing tires on this thing and make it up into S2 class and see how well it does after that. All right, we added twin turbos and upgraded them and then racing slick tires. And that puts us as close to S2 as humanly possible for this car. We're gonna lower the tire pressure back down quite low, lower than I normally run it by just a little bit. Just to make sure that we have more grip than we, uh, well, just to make sure we have some grip, really. Alright, here we go. We are in S2 class rivals. Of course, we are not going to get anywhere near my best lap time, which is very, very close to a, I think we are 50.050, I think was our best. So, we're not going to get anywhere near that, but we are going to see if we can get better than 101.5, that's for sure. Alright, here we go. Let's see how well this bad boy does in S2 class. Obviously, like I said, there's no beating my normal time or this guy. But I want to see how good our time does. I can tell you already, it definitely handles better. And since we added those twin turbos, it is so much faster. So much faster. 
Oh, I'm just noticing our best lap time from a standing lap was one minute flat with a five, so we already beat our time <laughs> from a standing start. Holy cow. I mean, that was quite an upgrade I knew that we did to it, so there's no surprise there. All right, we squeezed out a 58-0 with better tires, and I hit that wall hard, and I was like, you know what, screw it, just because in case you, you see this and you're curious as to what happened. We squeezed out a 58-0 with better tires and a hell of a lot more power. Uh, we beat our personal best from the S1 build immediately on the first standing lap. That's how much power we added into this thing. But it's not viable as a racing car. No, no surprise there. I have one more thing I want to do in mind before we leave off today. And let's cut to that now. Oh, and it's raining. This makes this the perfect idea. As you know, we started this off as a drift car. So we're going to go back to the drift zone at the mountain. Uh, we're going to see what our extra tires, our power, and all of our upgrades and our tuning, especially our tuning, did to this guy as a drift car to see if it still likes to drift or if we just ruined a drift car and made a terrible race car instead. And we just got a gift. How nice. But luckily for me, but not so much for you guys because you... Oh, okay, so you won't know the results. Uh, it's raining. Well, okay, no, you'll know the results, I guess, now, because we already crashed in the first corner, and that would have never happened as, like, the normal drift car, but, but, uh, it's gonna drift better, because it slides more in the rain, there's some weird shadow artifacts going on down there by the back left tire, which is kind of strange, so just ignore that, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and make over a million points, because the seasonal objective is S2, anything goes, and uh, I did not realize that, and it's for this drift zone. But, we're going to see how well this thing does as a drift car still. I can tell you right now, it is a hell of a lot more difficult to handle. I'm pretty sure it's obviously the tires, but still. Yeah, this thing is very, very particular about drifting. Now, it is hit the front end grabs super hard because of the tires and stuff. Not surprised. Oh, and the road has already dried out. Because in Mexico, it's the roads are magic and they absorb water like nobody's business. This thing, we have to we have to rip the e-brake to keep it sideways and keep it going sideways way more than we should have to. And I didn't even have the tire spinning there and it spun out on its own. I've never had that happen with any other car. It's got to be the suspension settings and stuff. Yikes! Keep us keep us going on the drift zone. Thank you. I wonder if we're even gonna make S2. Why is everyone drifting uphill? You drift downhill. Drifting downhill on this on this freaking track is way easier. Track? Drift zone. I can promise you, if you want any life advice from me, it's drift downhill on this track, not up. Alright, 877. We did not get the seasonal objective, no surprise. And all we did was ruin a perfectly good drift car. This thing easily could have done a million points down the mountain without having done any tuning to it whatsoever. But... Instead, we tried to make it into a race car, and uh, it did not work. It, it is a terrible race car, it cannot compete in any way, and it can no longer drift any good at all either. So, uh, this is a fail. This is one of the few fails we've had. The first one was the Mercedes-Benz drift truck. Uh, now, we went back and fixed that. We have a 2.0 build, which is far better. But this, we may have to come back to this and find a different formula drift car that drifts or drives better races better than this one but as for now this is a fail and this thing doesn't even have any windows so our guy is getting soaked while he's jamming out in there cool all right thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching our terrible car makeover that absolutely was terrible and i will see you in the next video